welcome to knowledge in this video we shall see chapter number three pair of linear equations and two variables of class 10 cbse and crt syllabus now this is an introduction video of pair of linear equations and two variables now we all know what an equation is right it is nothing but a statement or an expression which states that the lhs is equal to the rhs now linear equations in single variable linear equations is nothing but it is uh, generally expressed in the form of a x plus b is equal to 0 now here x will be the variable it is written that linear equation in single variable so there is only one variable in this equation so that is x and a will be the coefficient of x here and it has to satisfy one condition that a will not be equal to 0 it means that if a is equal to 0 then a multiplied by this variable will be 0 so this part doesn't have any value then only the constant term will be left out then it does not make any sense it doesn't make an equation right so it has to have this condition that a should not be equal to 0 and uh, coming to linear equation in two variables yes this is linear equation in one variable and linear equation in two variables is nothing but you will have two variables for example a x plus b y plus c is equal to 0 here x and y are the two variables and a and b will be the two coefficients of these variables then c will be the constant term here also the same uh, condition applies that a and b will not be equal to 0 ok now coming to pair of linear equations in two variables pair of linear equations in two variables this pair it means that there are two linear equations right so it is generally written in the form of a1x plus b1y plus c1 is equal to 0 and a2x plus b2y plus c2 is equal to 0 now here again x and y will be the two variables now here also the same way here on the first uh, for the first equation a1 and b1 will be uh, will not be equal to 0 so a1 and b1 will not be equal to 0 and same way here a2 and b2 will not be equal to 0 okay suppose you have an uh, equation say 3x plus 2y plus 5 is equal to 0 and 4x plus 3y plus 6 is equal to 0 now here x and y are the variables okay and 3 will be a1 see a1 is equal to 3 your b1 will be 2 and your c1 will be 5 okay and same way here a2 will be 4 b2 will be 3 and c2 will be 6 now there are two methods of solving linear equations uh, they are the graphical method and the algebraic method so solving linear equations are the first one is graphical method and then the second one is algebraic method okay now whenever a linear equation is represented on a graph then um, it forms a straight line and when the linear equation in two variables is represented on a graph then there are certain conditions that it has to satisfy they are 
as I told you, the three conditions it has to satisfy are the first one is a1 by a2 is not equal to b1 by b2. Okay, suppose 3x plus 2y plus 5 is equal to 0 and 4x plus 3y plus 6 is equal to 0. Now here, as we said that a1 will be 3 and a2 will be 4 b1 is 2 and b2 is 3. Now here if we write it in this order then 3 by 4 a1 by a2 is 3 by 4 and then b1 by b2 is 2 by 3. Now it is obvious that uh, see uh, it is not equal to 0 because it is already in the simplest form we cannot uh, reduce it any further. So now it is clear that they are not equal to one another. So this confirms that a1 by a2 is not equal to b1 by b2. So, it means that when these equations are represented on a graph, then they will form intersecting lines. This line will be formed by the first equation and the second line will be formed by the second equation. The lines formed by these equations will be intersecting and now coming to the number of solutions, the point where the two lines meet will be the number of solutions these equations will give you. Now here since it meets only at one point, this is the number of solution. Here it gives only one solution for you. So one solution or unique solution. And then only when these equations they give you a solution, they are said to be consistent. So now here since it gives you one solution then they these equations are said to be consistent. So consistent. Okay. Now the second condition is a1 by a2 is equal to b1 by b2 is equal to c1 by c2. Now here if you have an equation say x plus 3y plus 6 is equal to 0 and 2x plus 6y plus um, 12 is equal to 0. So 1 will be the coefficient of x. So 1 uh, is a1 and 2 is a2. Here b1 is 3 and b2 is 6. Here c1 is 6 and c2 is 12. Now here writing this in this order, uh, a1 by a2 is 1 by 2, b1 by b2 is 3 by 6 c1 by c2 is 6 by 12. Now if you solve this, this is in its simplest form. So we need not do anything about this. Now this can be divided using a common number. So I can divide it by 3. So this is 1 3 are 3 and this is 2 3 are 6. And here I can divide it by 6. Just a common number I can divide it by. So 1 6 are 6 and 2 6 are 12. Now it is clear that this gives you this answer 1 by 2 is equal to 1 by 2 is equal to 1 by 2 which satisfies this condition a1 by a2 is equal to b1 by b2 is equal to c1 by c2. So this means that these equations will give you coincident lines. If one line is formed by this equation and the other line formed by the second equation is formed just on top of this line the previous line then this part the overlapping part which contains a number of solutions okay you have a number of solutions here so it means that they give you infinite solutions so first of all they give you coincident lines and then since they give you a number of solutions you can write it as infinite solutions and then these equations to give you a solution so they are said to be consistent now a third condition is that a1 by a2 is equal to b1 by b2 is not equal to c1 by c2 uh, for example if you have this equation as 3x plus y minus 3 is equal to 0 and 9x plus 3y 
plus 6 is equal to 0. Now here 3 is e1 and 9 is e2. Here this is y simply y then it means 1 is a coefficient here. So b1 is 1 and b2 is 3. Here c1 is minus 3 and c2 is 6. Then a1 by a2 is 3 by 9. Then b1 by b2 is 1 by 3 and c1 by c2 is minus 3 by 6. Now here if you want to simplify then, then this can be divided by 3. So 1 3 are 3 and 3 3 are 9. So this is already in a simplest form. I cannot divide it any further. So this becomes um, I can divide it by 3. So it is minus 1 and minus 2. Okay, this gives you an answer that 1 by 3 1 by 3 and minus 1 by 2 which means 1 by 3 is equal to 1 by 3 this is not equal to 1 minus 1 by 2 which proves this a1 by a2 is equal to b1 by b2 is not equal to c1 by c2 right so if these equations if they satisfy this condition then it means that they will form parallel lines one line is formed by one equation and the other line formed by the second equation will form parallel to the previous line okay so this means that they will give you parallel lines and since they don't meet anywhere they don't give you any solutions no solutions and since they do not give you any solutions they are said to be inconsistent right I told you that only when they give you a solution then they are said to be consistent so since they do not meet anywhere they don't give you any solution so it means that these are these equations are inconsistent so this is how the linear equations in two variables are represented on a graph all these three methods are very important these equations will satisfy any of these three conditions we have to identify this while doing the sums now coming to algebraic method now algebraic method it involves three methods in it one the first one is substitution method the second one is elimination method and the third one is cross multiplication method okay um, we will look into this in detail when we reach the relevant exercise so for now you, you can just watch this introduction video twice or thrice uh, for you to be familiar with all these three conditions. That's all for now. Until we meet in the next video. Bye-bye.